Okay, everybody. So here's the thing. Uh, th- I, I know this looks foreign. Where are we, right? Yeah. Uh, this is weird. So, <laughs> how well, do we? F- full do disclosure. We- yeah. We lost. We lost the file. The entire thing. We We're lost. Like, we lost it all. We lost like three episodes worth. But we came back. Yeah, and but we're not in the same spot, and we'll explain why. First, we should probably explain, hi, we're the Beard Bros. We're playing Jurassic Park on a Super Nintendo, not because we want to, but because we're compelled to. Yeah. B- by Baronade. Thanks, Baronade. Thank you, Baronade. Here's how we got here. Uh, <laughs> We lost some files, so we had to, like, retake our steps. And then retaking our steps, we realized that we, like, skipped a step when we first went around. That's my bad. Uh, <laughs> it, no, it, it's all of us, dude. Trust it's- me. It's you know it's the nature of dra- trying to the nature of control Jurassic life Park. yeah you nature know what finds I'm a way yep Murphy's butt and uh, now we're on the ship again and we're killing dinosaurs remember we were trying to clear dinosaurs before and kill them all on the ship and how hard it was well this is how you know we're on the right step now right right watch what happens when I re-enter yeah, this, this floor this is key check this okay first of all yeah now look at this fourteen dinos left on this level. It's fucking telling us now. Kind of weird, right? Well, that's because we did something this time successfully that we didn't do before. So now we're here. We're killing all the dinos on the ship. Just roll with it, people. Yeah, we were working our way through this. We were like, people should watch this. So here we are. We're going to kill 15 dinosaurs. Also, this is our first time back in person. So it's... (laughs) Yeah. That's even weirder. It's weird. It's a weird situation. We're all in the same room. Uh, Ted is, like, not here. He has a mundane illness. Yeah, Uh, here's hoping. Mundane. Yeah. He has a mundane illness that's keeping him from Watch work him today. Watch him have botulism. He just he 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 has allergies acting up. Yeah, he has like some kind of weird sinus thing. He's fine. The funniest part about this is our first time back in the building playing a game together, and the first thing we're doing is backs away from Nobody's each other, looking at each other, not looking yeah. at each Why other. Why am I here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, we're not allowed to do anything. Well, I need y'all's help because I see two doors before me. Well. There's no instructions, is there? I guess like, I have I, some instructions for, uh, for clearing this floor. We got to figure out what floor you're on first. Of all. I'm on sub level two, baby. Head to sub level two and clear out the dinos. You need Arnold's oh ID God. to get through the doors here. Make sure to find the computer in one of the middle rooms and request security level two. Oh, also boy. use his computer to switch the gate control to gate one. You will be going there after the ship. With security level two, you can now enter the elevator in the dark room. Oh shit! Well, here's okay. the thing, Gerard. Yes, I just, I just killed two dinosaurs. We're down to twelve, mm-hmm. and I found the computer. Remind me again what I'm supposed to do on the computer. Uh, find the computer in the middle. No, 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 no. Computer. Computer. Find one com-pu- more time. Com- computer. Computer. There you go. Make sure to find the computer in one of the middle rooms and yeah. request security level two on said computer. Okay, one second. Uh. <laughs> God, it sounds so fucking generic. I'm requesting level two. Shit, user hacking, now has hacking into the mainframe. That's real. Uh, crash override. So user now has level two clearance. Yeah. Okay. 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 So you actually did engage level two clearance. I got it. Hold Excellent. On. Amazing. And okay. is there anything else I'm supposed to do on this compupor? On this compupor, there was something about uh, a gate. Yes. Let me pull it up. It says. I think this also was, use this computer to switch the gate control to gate one. I think this was literally what was like holding us up I see. last episode. Okay, so I'm on gate control. I'm clicking the number one. It says warning. Gate one lock has been disabled and can now be open. Locks on two and three have been closed. So I guess that's what we want, Gerard. Yes, sir. And now I'm I'm clear to close. Comp- now it's four. just a bug hunt. Uh, yeah. All right. Now, right. with security level two clearance, you can now enter the elevator in the dark room. But before we do that, we got to probably clear all the dinos. For sure. I'm on, I'm on the gate. Look at this mother. There you go. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. So I think, so the the vibe is that you're just going to like go around killing stuff for a while till we get down. You, you don't just need, described you don't, need, you don't need my, my help. weekends, baby. You don't need my help getting to anything specific. I've you? never needed your help killing things, Alex. Fair enough. Fair enough. I love that. I'm a stone cold killer. Anything that looks different from me has to go the way of the dinosaur. You guys believe that a comic killed the dinosaurs? I believe the show Dinosaurs killed the dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> you think there were dinosaurs on the earth until 
that weird Until war. No, you, know, you know what it was? It, was, it wasn't it was that show. It was Land of the Lost. That show. Mm. Like, if the dinosaurs were making a resurgence, that show killed them. Mm. There, okay, but that, did you know that there was that there was like a remake version of Land of the Lost that we used to watch? And yeah. then the, and that was the one we watched. And then there was like the 70s one yeah, also. Yeah. I'm more familiar with oh, the original. Land I'm of the more Lost. familiar with the remake. In yeah. the 90s. That's You're what more I grew familiar up with Land of the Lost. Yeah, that's yeah. what I grew up with. Yeah. I never knew there was a re. Oh, oh yeah. my God. You mean yeah. to tell me that the Will Ferrell movie, movie was a remake of the remake? It's a Don't be surprised. It's based you off of the one that the one that you watched was based off of. Oh, I hate that. Yeah. It's a movie version of the one that wanna, yours is wanna, a remake. I don't want to be here. Anymore. You, the, the way you, the, I feel like the emotion that you're expressing right now, Gerard, is the emotion that I feel. There, once again, I just had a conversation on my stream the, like last night about how like uh, I love language and I love the fact that language like there's always room to make it better because like we can like have we can make new words. There's always room for new words. Sure, there should be a word for this. The way for that, and I think it's the emotion that you're feeling. And please tell me if I'm wrong. It's the same feeling that I get when, like, <clears throat> there's a rap song that I either know very well, or any song really, but it's usually hip hop. I know very well, or I'm hearing it for the first time, and I'm like, man, this is fucking good. And then later on, way later on, I'm like, oh, this is like heavily sampled from this actual song from like decades ago. That's like. The only parts of the song that I actually enjoy are from this. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> like, like, and it's not because like I don't like I don't like enjoying old things. Right. It's that like I was sitting here like in my mind being like, you know, giving some credit to the artists that made this new version. When in reality, I should have been crediting fucking, I don't know, Michael McDonald the whole time and not right. Nate Dogg and Warren G. You know what I mean? Are, oh. Like, is that accurate to what you're feeling right yes. now? Yes. Okay. I think that's called getting zonged. If oh, I, there it is. Thank you, Alex. Zonged hard. What bro. does you mean? Zonged? That's just me. That's just me making that up. Oh, Z I see. So Zayo, Z spell it. Z O. Did I say Zayo? Zayo. 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 <laughs> that's my favorite Power Rangers. Zayo. <laughs> Can't spell anymore. <laughs> Go <laughs> School's right out the door. <laughs> Pronounce it different than before. <laughs> uh, Go <say -o. laughs> getting, getting, getting culture, culture fucked. Culture fuck getting, sounds not good. Getting, you know what it is? It's the equivalent of I'm not mad, just disappointed. Oh, a little bit, yeah. It's I'm just, not mad. Like, yeah. you're like, I'm not oh, mad. I'm just disappointed. You're like, oh, this person isn't that creative. <laughs> so this is—is is this a passive oh, verb? Like, you do not zonk someone. But no, you it's, can that's be, what happens to you. You can be zonked. Yeah, you get, you get zonked. You so this get is, zonked while consuming media. Yeah. So this is a passive verb. Like, like I, I. So today, Gerard has been zonked. Yes. Yeah. Like, like John uh -huh. Carter's based on a book. Zonk. I'm zonked. I got zonked, man. So spell it. Zayo what? Zayo. Zayo N K O. Say it again. Zayo N K. Zayo. Oh, so <laughs> Zayo N K. Wait. Zayo N K E D. Yeah. Zonked. Yes. Okay. Like honked, but with a Z. I like how Zayo is literally Z O. It's Z O A, but we say it Z O. It's like uh, that old English letter that's like the A and the E, but yeah. it's like. It's like the lettering yeah. they put on like energy drinks made by The Rock, but you don't know how to pronounce it, <laughs> yeah. so you just keep saying it over and over again until you think you know how to say it. Yeah. Exactly right. Yeah. What about the word senescence? What Is that about, real? What about that word? Yeah, that word means getting old. That means senescence. 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 The 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 process of aging is yeah. senescence. Senescence. That's pretty cool. Aging. That's what the movie Old is about. Is that the beach one? Yeah, I gotta watch no, that. That's movie. the beach. I liked it. That seems. I liked it. What that the seems fuck? wacky. Pat and I saw it in theaters. It was, it was fun. What the fuck? What's going down? Just. Just absolutely walked in a door and just strafed on either side by two Dilophosauri like they're throwwing rice at me in my wedding. It sucks. If you give me <laughs> rice if you at give my me wedding. some details about what you're finding and what shape the room is, I can maybe help you find some heels or something. Well, I'm in I'm in a night vision room. That was, however, the last You are in the night vision room? I was, yeah. And no more dinos? No more dinos. So that's the room you need to be in, right? To take the elevator down? I think, right? I don't know. Gerard? Um, after you use the computer, switch the gate, control the gate one. You'll be going there after the ship. With three level two, you can enter the elevator in the dark room. Yeah, I found it. One second. Let me get in there. 
I also found some chimkin. Is it sad that when you say chimkin, I think of Potemkin from Guilty Gear? No, that dude's fucking awesome. That dude's great. Potemkin? I didn't even know you were aware Potemkin. of who Potemkin was. It's because of Octo. Uh, there I watched Octo play so much Guilty Gear online that he... Oh, that's tight. He's constantly... That, that, that it also explains why you don't uh, watch me play Guilty Gear online. No, <laughs> come on. <laughs> you don't play sense. Guilty Gear that often on, on Twitch. You've got me there. <laughs> he's screening your streams. He, he told me. Like, he's it's like, true. oh, yeah, man, I like I appreciated your stream the other day. I was like, oh, you were there? You didn't say anything. He's like, yeah, sometimes I just pop in. Well, because, you know, you know how it is. If if I say, hey, what's up, everyone? Then oh, my everyone, God, you Yeah, I don't oh care. God, I want to because I want I, want, I I told you this, too, which, you know, I think you remember. Like, if you show up, I want you to say hello. I want you got it. I, I will be more clear going forward. Then. So I'm on it. What the fuck? You're on to level three, yeah? Yeah, I'm clearing them out again. All right, so clear out the dinos and make note of the dark bunk room with the computer in it. Sorry, the, the dark zonk room? The dark zonk room. Uh, clear out the dinos and make note of the dark bunk room with the computer in it. That's an ugly set of words right there. The dark, dark bunk, bunk room? Isn't that where Cassandra Nova sent Cyclops? That <laughs> Get zonked yeah, in the dark bunk room, Cyclops. Isn't it weird to bring it back to that show? Talk about getting zonked. That's yeah, a big zonk. Right? That's a big zonk. It. Wait, guys. Leave it up to you motherfuckers to like have an opportunity to legitimately create like maybe a new word for a sensation and then immediately throw your own efforts under the bus by making it mean something else completely. Dude, no, the kids who see that show and they don't realize that it's a remake of an old show, they're going to get zonked. They might. Well, that's the question, though. Is it? And this is where it gets fucked up. Yeah. Is it a remake? It's a or, sequel. Is, or is it a continuation? It's a, it's a sequel. It's, it's, a, a, it's like bringing back Futurama, right? They're not yeah. rebooting yeah, it's Futurama. Not a reboot. No. They're bringing back not a new remake. seasons. Okay. I mean, as far as, as far as we know so far. Sure. Look at this mother. Well, but exactly. it's 97. It could be one of those things, though, that we eventually could get zonked because the <laughs> sequel, the, the, the next season... It's just so drastically different from what we knew as a kid when we were kids. I hope this new season of X Men tackles like some of the most fucked up shit that's happened since the show's been off the air. That yeah. would be really. Like, cool. I hope issue one is the genocide on Genosha. Uh, oh my god, that'd be amazing. <laughs> just imagine all these Disney people likes. tuning in with like their kids. Like I used to watch this when I was your age. Episode opens up with 16 million people getting annihilated. 16 by million mutants were murdered. Da -da 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 -da. And then, like, and all the, you know, there'd be tons of people out there like, this is not the show I remember. And then there'd be me being like, fuck yes. Uh, I found Ellie Sattler's card, just so you know, Gerard. And I also card? found her, her ID card, Ellie oh. Sattler's ID card. Oh, cool. That's not on this guide at all. <laughs> <laughs> at least not yet. Or sure we should we'll have had there. it already. But also, there's, I don't know if this is the dark bunk room. <laughs> But I found a bunk room. I don't think it's the dark bunk room. So dark I'm gonna keep bunk room. When you room. say bunk room, what's in the room? Like a single, like a, it looks like, like a, a bed pr bunk? A prison bed. It looks like oh, a single. Oh, I guess that would be is there a a a Is there a computer in there? In no. The dark bunk I'm going to keep room? looking. But I still got some dinosaurs to kill too. So it's not like, it's, it's not a big deal. I'm going to keep looking. You know what's the worst X-Men zonk that can happen to you? Oh, let me, let me, should I guess or should I? Just yeah, 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 yeah. The worst X-Men zonk. Uh, 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 is realizing this is a, this is this is adjacent, so I might be wrong. Zonk adjacent? Well, uh, X Men adjacent. Oh, okay, uh, okay. But like realizing that Deadpool is not original and just a pastiche of of uh, Deathstroke. That's a pretty hard zonk. That's a pretty. That's a pretty. And it's like not unintentional either. That's the thing. Yeah. That's that's the He's, zonk on yeah, Deadpool. Yeah, they sampled Deathstroke. You know. My, I, I, I didn't think about that. That's a pretty, that's a pretty heavy zonk. Mm -hmm. My zonk is, you're somebody from a country that's not America, probably, just because it'd be pretty hard to not have heard of the X Men. But imagine you don't have Disney Plus, you have only Netflix. Okay. You're watching some stuff and you find this great new anime about this guy Logan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, okay. And this guy Scott and this and this lady Jean. It's like it's incredible. They're different and people hate them because they're different. It's yeah. novel. It's really good. And then you find out that it's it's related to, you know, uh, uh, six, sixty years of 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 narrative. The biggest comic book series ever created, maybe. Uh, I think I found a dark room with a computer. Just so you know. So, 
do we, what did it say we need to do with it? It says on sub level three, clear out the dinos and make note of the dark bunk room with the computer in it. So I Rack don't know it. if this is a bunk room, but there's a computer okay, in here. Okay, sure. so is this what we're gonna use like at the end or something? It, it says you will use it to call the mainland. Now it doesn't say use it, it says you will use okay, it. So okay, so make a note that this is where it is. On sub level three, there's the bunk. All right. Three dinos left on this level. Sub level three is very confusing. Tell me about it. Oh. Oh yeah, I see where the dark bunk is. The dark bunk the room. The dark bunk room. Zay O. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh Zay Oh no 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 no. Uh let me try that. When you say no no like that, I picture like like the giant like like it's it's like it's the cartoon bear that's shaped like baby Huey. <laughs> you know what I mean? I do. The one like, that's he's like, like a big doofus motherfucker. The guy who's like famous on many signs in the South Bay. Uh, maybe that weird like yellow smiling bear. Yeah, he's like got big buck teeth. Yeah, and like he's like clasping his hands together near his like crotch. Oh, you yeah, know what I mean? I like do. being bashful. Yeah, like, no, I no, do. No, no, I no. do. That's exactly what I was thinking of too. No, 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 no. It's exactly the vibe. Horrific. I got one dino left, fellas. I'm trying my one hardest. One dino to go. Question of the day. Yeah. Is it Dino or Dino? I'm just saying. Oh. I'm just posing questions. Dinosaur. Is it Dinosaur oh. or Dinosaur? Just posing questions it's, here. It's Latin. You never know. That's a good question. You know what, though? It's Dinosaur, Gerard. It's Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> you know the one thing. No, though, you're absolutely right. I just we're sure it's dino. Guys, sometimes I just wanted to to clickbait all of you into getting really mad and clicking on this video because of this one audio clip I said about calling something dino. Your thumbnail, the thumbnail is you with like really watery eyeballs. It just says, "I can't believe we say dino." <laughs> you won't believe. You know, you won't believe what we say. What the bear bros misconstrued. Today. I watched a video. I watched going back to X Men and and what we were just talking about. I watched a video that was, was like an apology video. No, it was like <laughs> Magneto's like he he's on screen. <laughs> it was he turns the, the camera to him like without touching and he goes. <sighs> <laughs> hey, guys, it's been a while since so I've made a video. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Welcome to sorry. Uh, no, it was one of those fucking guys who's like basically just a nerd who is talking about comic books and movies, but mm -hmm. they like kind of make their show look like the Joe Rogan show or something where it's like got like the cameras. Oh, okay. And they like pretend like they're in a newsroom. It's like one of those types of shows. And it was like, this <laughs> is like a bunch of like X-Men shit on the desk and whatnot. Yeah. You know, it was like one of those things where it's like really nice microphone. The other guy is like on another camera and he's like farther away and he goes it, like, yeah, uh-huh. He has like his own, <laughs> yeah. he has his own little like arms folded. He has, camera his, he has his own little desk like yeah. in the corner of it's the like room. like 15 feet away from this guy. He's like supposed to be the Robin equivalent of, yeah. of for exactly, Howard Stern. Yeah, it's exactly right. 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 Uh, we all have was, one of those in it some was that, okay. It was like a 10 minute long video and it was like this. Now people have been talking about the X-Men and how they're going to get into MCU. And I just think it's not going to be clean. <laughs> And this I guy heard, evoking Stan Lee? <laughs> I, I, I want to talk idea. about this. I want to talk also, about this. Also, we got to be careful. That's very close to Gilbert Gottfried. You know what I mean? Dude, but not even because the real Gilbert <laughs> yes, Gottfried. man. The real Gilbert Gottfried's down here. <laughs> Hi, Howard. It's Gilbert. <laughs> That's so <laughs> weird to me. No, uh, so he's like, Howard he spends Gilbert. like five minutes talking about this. Like, it's going to be so hard. And then I heard this story. And mm -hmm. then they spend like two more minutes being like, and it's... Crazy, and the guy, the guy on the other camera is like, "Yeah, I, when you told me about this earlier, man, it was crazy." The theory is crazy. It's the crazy. theory is just, what if Wanda already got rid of the mutants and then she brings them back? Uh, based on Wandavision, I'm just saying, like, that's not so a new. Something theory. that Gerard might not be aware of is that traditionally in the comics there was a famous storyline around late 05, early 06, where Scarlet Witch goes crazy. No more mutants, and she makes an alternate universe where like. Things are okay slip. for the mutants and shit. They're like the bosses. And then, like, in that, of in course, the the heroes are like, we got to put the world back the way it was, right? Even though things are good for mutants in this world, we got to put the world back the way it was, and they do so. Mm -hmm. But at the very end, Scarlet Witch using her like crazy fucked up reality warping powers that she got at some point is like, you know what? Fuck it. How about this? No more mutants. And so the mutants go from like being a million strong on Earth to like just under 200 just the famous ones live somewhere. right right oh, like well they don't, they don't die Wolverine. but like everybody loses their powers except right. for like wolverine uh, like 200 people <laughs> oh i see uh the original mutants it's just the ones that sell comic books right yeah so <laughs> what what alex is saying that these guys are purporting is that 
you know, what if the way to introduce them is to be like, guys, there were mutants here the whole time, except that Wanda made them go away, uh, which is like, yeah, they could do that. I just think I, I think that's fine. I, I, I just think it really well, throws away the drama that comes from that tra that storyline traditionally. Well, let me ask you this. You, you guys saw WandaVision, yeah? Yeah, I saw most of it. But you saw the whole reveal of like how Quicksilver's in the show, but like not really. That was in the show. that made me furious. But yes. yeah, like that, that little knot. Like that was that was pretty infuriating. I felt. Um, and I'm assuming you guys all saw Spider Man, the newest Spider Man as well. Indeed, I did see. Are we are we about to like spoil no, the show? No, 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 not at all. I think what I I'm, saw it. What I'm getting at is like we're right now in the Renaissance for MCU, where all of the ideas, albeit archaic and old, in the current like zeitgeist of consumption are now being considered to be like resalvageable. Like I would not oh my be surprised if they were like you Ghost, okay, Brett? Ghost Rider. Are you okay, Brett? You said, oh my God. I just got the last dino. He was oh, right okay. in front of me. Okay. I, I'm, good. I'm uh, good. I just imagine that like, yeah, like literally Dr. Strange is going to poop a portal and suddenly Nick Cage is going to walk out through that portal. You know what I mean? Like, right. I'm not stoked about that idea. I don't think it's a good one, but like that forbidden door of multi-dimensional actors coming back to mm -hmm. work on old roles they used to be in yep. is now busted wide open. So now anyone can be anyone. Yep. To me, that's the only way that would actually work as a thing is if the version of the world with the MCU that has the mutants in it is the very same characters that we've been following from Fox. I mean, but you right. say it would work, but then like... Like just from a... Two point, things. Yeah. Number one, I still think that would like take all the wind out of what makes that story have impactful narratively. Oh, like 100%. Story. But also, like, you'd be like, guess what? Hugh Jackman and Stewart and Halle Berry Storm are back. And then it's like, so what? They're going to, like, carry a franchise for another 15 years? No, they're not. They're definitely yeah, not. Yeah, no right? way. So then, like, why would you even do that in the first place? Well, because they already recast all of them already. Yeah, exactly. So you could do it with that cast. That's, I can see that's that what it, like the Dark Phoenix cast comes back. Oh, through. oh, I killed the last dinosaur. What do I do now? Oh, uh, uh, elevator, oh. elevator. Head back. Still one go, more floor. go back to the elevator and go down to the final level of the ship. We're gonna go to sub level four now. Okay, I'm looking for the elevator. Got it. All right. So what's the sub level four biz? Uh, sub level four is actually a little hazardous because there are many dinos packed <laughs> into small rooms. <laughs> uh, there's a, there's a health pack very near the elevator on cell level three so don't be afraid to backtrack for it after you clear out all the dinos uh exit the ship and head west so we're basically clearing out cell level four i think for the end game uh approach right. uh i'm looking for the elevator i think it's i think i'm getting close yeah let's find out how many dinosaurs there are because we're getting close to the end of the episode here yeah like we're yeah we gotta go watch some power rangers zeo if I had to guess genuinely how Disney's going to do this, like, this is not me suggesting a good idea. This is me being cynical about how corporate mm, good marketing idea. works. Bad I think they're going to bring Wolverine across first. I think there's going to be a Wolverine in the MCU. You're talking, are we done with Hugh Jackman? Well, I th well we know he's going to be in something, I think. Are, do we? I think we are confirmed. We know that he's going to be probably associated somehow to Deadpool 3. No, I think I think that they're confirmed that Patrick Stewart and uh, Hugh Jackman are among the millions of celebrities rumored to be in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. You think so? I'm almost positive that that's been confirmed. But the last, the, the Logan, which was a great movie, um, has kind of been touted as like that was their swan song. I think it's that's why I think the Logan money. was weird anyway though yeah. because that was like almost out of continuity with any other X Men. That's, that's skipped, true. Yeah, they skipped like the part where all the X Men died. Yeah. Right. Like in that universe, they had comic books of the X Men. It's like what? Yeah, exactly. That's true. That is weird. Uh, Which is fine. Like I think that you know they made the right choice. Like they just same told director the story. as the Wolverine. Very weird. Uh, There's twenty fuck. <laughs> There's 24 total dinos on this level. I killed one. I think next time. Next on time Bros. on Beard Bros, we're gonna kill one dinosaur per minute. It's gonna be a perfectly long episode. Ah, that's the name Bros. of this episode. What? 24 dinos per <laughs> second, 20, baby. 24 dinos, dinos per, per second? second. We're killing them all. <laughs> somebody, FPS, baby. Somebody, whoever makes this, put that many dinosaurs on the screen. Actually, don't. I'm no, sorry. No, do it. 
do it because we've you've done nothing else for a while. We're, just we're put, sorry. Just put an ocean ahead, Charlie. of Velociraptors on there. Ocean of Velociraptors. If there's less than 24, Charlie, I'm going to be furious. It's probably going to be Ted. Oh, shit. Uh, Guys. Yeah. I'm already, look, I'm going to be honest. I'm already blasting away here. You've already blasted away more dinos? Well, how many are I'm left? already at 19. Who are you, fucking oh, man. Joaquin Phoenix from Science? I'm Calm blasting. down. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'm, I'm, are they Bob Fossing in front of you? There's two of them. They look incredible. <laughs> All right. Next time on Beard Bros, more killing. See you guys soon. Bye-bye. Peace out.